So guess who got to sleep on the couch again with Stella? Mama. This time she at least waited to wake up until 4 a.m. I don't know what is going on with her. She never doesn't sleep. <laughs> this is a new thing. So sorry I didn't record yesterday. Um, I actually did record some. And then I was like, I think I should take Sunday off. <laughs> so I'm not going to upload any of that footage. It was kind of an off day at our house because like both Craig and I were kind of in a foul mood and so it just wasn't like it wasn't going to be very exciting um I did manage to get some touch up paint done on our two accent walls like the one here and then the one in the um, living room it's the same color I just carried it through and then in our downstairs bathroom here, they're starting to kind of fix things up, like I told you guys. And then I was able to go to Costco, and I got some groceries. But I didn't really, like, clean yesterday, so the house is kind of a little bit of a disaster. But I did get a bunch of stuff for Craig and Stella to be able to eat. It doesn't look like it in here. Most of it is, like, out in the freezer. Um, for Stella to be able to eat after my surgery on Wednesday. So. <sighs> oh my goodness, I can't stop yawning. And so, yeah, we'll take you guys along again today. There's not much exciting planned. I need to tidy up, but that's kind of it. I need to figure out what's going on with my monkey butt. That's an issue. What a frickin' whiner, you guys. <laughs> Honey, you just squeeze it into your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Squeeze. It's a, it's a squeezy tube. It's a squeezy tube. You know how mama feeds it to you. You just squeeze. Put it in your mouth. Nice hair. Is that from sleeping on the couch? Hmm? Did you get that awesome bed head from sleeping on the couch with mom? Mm -hmm. I, can yeah. I can tell we're gonna have another stellar day of this one being in a foul mood. <laughs> I can tell from the moment that like I pick her up if she's gonna be in a good mood or not. And today's not a good day. I didn't clean the kitchen at all last night after dinner, so um, I'm having to do it all this morning. And um, I just finally got the dishwasher started. And um, I have so much garbage that I can't put outside in our garbage can because the city that I live in, they decided to only pick up garbage every other week in an attempt to get people to recycle more, which is fine. Like we already recycled everything that we could, but now like we just have overflowing garbage. Like we're lucky in that Craig can take stuff to work and he has like a big dumpster and he can like put stuff there. But um, he hasn't taken stuff with him, and we also <laughs> forgot to, they do pick up recycling every week, but we forgot to uh, put it out last week, so now our recycling bin is also overly <laughs> full, and, um, okay, well, can you get, okay, um, all right, there you go, um, our recycling bin is also full, so I have a bunch of boxes from Costco over there. <laughs> Oh my god. More? Okay. Okay. 
camera down and feed the beast her gogurt because apparently she can't figure it out. Once upon a time, an insurance clerk stumbled Oof. God, you guys. It is a rough morning. I just put her in time out for the first time because she threw like a massive tantrum. So I've decided that the first step here kind of in the corner is going to be like her time out area. Um, oh my gosh, she was so pissed. And I was like, you're not getting out of there until you say I'm sorry. And she just screamed for like five minutes. She's so incredibly stubborn. So finally she said sorry and she gave me a hug. So I let her come out. But there was like no way that I was going to buckle. So now she's watching some TV. And I am trying to get down as much water as I can because I am now like literally, do I have my shoes are all hanging out here, in like the home stretch of, uh, like my surgery is the day after tomorrow, so I need to drink as much water as I can because, um, I'm still dehydrated. I think it's because the heat is on in the house and it's just drying me out. It's making me really nervous because I know that um, being dehydrated can just make you really sick with the anesthesia and stuff. So I'm like desperate to get down as much water as possible. By the way, it's supposed to snow later on today. So we'll see if we actually get any. I'm hopeful. It's actually supposed to snow Wednesday morning, too, um, at, like, early in the morning. We're leaving the house at, like, 5.30. We have to be at the hospital at 6. So um, that makes me a little nervous. Of course, it snows, like, the one day where I'm not going to be able to, like, really enjoy it. That's annoying. Anyway, do those look like snowing skies to you guys? I think it's working on it. We'll see if we can get some moisture. So I just wanted to show you guys this um, because I think these are such a great thing to have. So as you can see, most of the furniture that I have is like a dark wood finish. I think I just prefer that like aesthetically. So um, and this is an amazing thing to have, especially if you have a kid because it covers up nicks in the wood really easily and it makes the furniture look like new again so I just discovered um, this coffee table is only a couple of years old but because of Stella like she has just destroyed it um, so I'm not really like super upset that I saw this little nick in the corner of the table here but she took out I don't know if she was pl oh like right here so you can't even see it anymore. She took out like a huge chunk out of like the corner here. Um, but this little marker thing just covered it right back up. And you can find these at like, um, I think I got this one at Home Depot, but you can also find them at um, Lowe's as well. And it's just like in the wood stain section, but it's nice because it's just a pen and you just shake it. So it's great to just be able to touch everything up. And this mahogany color does everything from like this super dark table to this is more of like a reddish wood on this china hutch here and um i've even used it on my bedroom furniture which is like this more like true brown so um anyway i just think these are so neat um so if you haven't grabbed one of these and you, they have it in lots of different stains. So not just like the red mahogany, they've got like black, um, like the lighter color woods as well, like oak and stuff like that. So yeah, these are just awesome to have. And I just keep it down here because I'm constantly pulling it out with this little turkey. Killing me. She just came up to me with her sunglasses on and her her, her lips purse. Okay, I'm not going without you. 
Oh, did you guys see that? She wanted to give me a kiss on the legs. <laughs> oh my god, she's cute. She's a total pain in my arse. But she's freaking adorable. Right, Stella? Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and got dressed. Um, man, my lips are chapped. I thought I was going to like go all out and like do my makeup today, but I really am not interested in it. <laughs> I'm just, I'll put on a little bit because I do want to film a video today. There's one video that I want to, well, there's actually two. I don't think I'm going to be able to do both of them, but, um, I want to do like a winter skin and hair survival series. <laughs> um, just because I think that um, there are certain things that I know that I do differently during the fall and winter months because my skin is just in such a different state. Um, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what works for me in terms of like products and things that I've discovered that um, just have been helping me. Is that Santa Claus floating? Oh, how funny. Uh, Maybe you guys will be able to see this. That was so distracting. There's like, through the blinds. Do you see those things right there? It's like a Santa Claus and a snowman floating above a house. Or is that like a nutcracker dude? I have no idea, but <laughs> like floating above that house. That's crazy distracting. Mostly because my brain is just like pew, 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 all over the place. Um, so yeah, I think what I'll go ahead and do is probably record like the skin, like face and body skin version today. And then maybe if I'm feeling like it next week, towards the end of next week, I'll do the hair version. Because um, it'll definitely still be winter. <laughs> so, um... I just, like I said, got out of the shower and today was the first day that I need to start using the uh, HIPAA cleanse um, on the areas of my body, like the surgery sites essentially. So like all over my stomach, all over like my flanks and my lower back and um, like my boobs, obviously, since those are going to be done uh, with the surgery. And. Oh, now that I'm thinking, this was probably not the right choice of foundation for recording a video. This, um, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in Nude looks a little bit darker on camera. It actually matches me pretty perfectly in reality, or my reality, but on camera it always comes off as a little bit darker. So this was probably not the right choice, but I don't know that I really care that much. Um, but yeah, so I, I had to start using the HIPAA cleanse today and that stuff I can tell is going to be crazy drying. Like one of the first ingredients is like uh, isopropyl alcohol, so that's not going to be fun. But I guess I would rather kill all of the bacteria on my body than end up with some massive infection before or after my surgery. And oh. Sophie's in here and she's sleeping on the bed that's right over there and I just washed all of this stuff because I have to start sleeping in here tonight so that's another thing that um it's like it's just crazy to me like how fast and all of a sudden like surgery day is here um I'm kind of freaking out like I can't think about it too much and honestly like other than like the random mentions that I've made like in the video, I really like have purposely not thought about this because I get really bad anxiety and when I do, like I start to cry. <laughs> so I'm trying to not cry because I don't want Stella to see me upset. I honestly think that the reason that she has been in such a weird mood for the last few days is because she knows something is up. Um, Craig doesn't think she's really like with it enough yet to realize that anything's going on but I think she 
like I think she can pick up on it you know I've never like really been one of those like ooh, my child and I are so like in tune with each other but I like we spend all of our time together and like she knows like when I feel upset and um, like when I'm feeling anxious like it totally like it affects her I know that it does so um Craig thinks it's just she's just going into like the terrible twos which probably in all likelihood there's some of that in there too but I do think that she knows something is gonna be happening with mama so that makes me a little sad like I didn't want this to affect her in any kind of way and um, it's definitely bumming me out that it is like I didn't want that but I'm hoping that she's young enough to where like she won't remember any of this other than maybe like someday seeing it in these videos so future Stella if you're watching this um, you made it through <laughs> and you made it through alive which is a miracle <laughs> after the last few days poor Craig he just like he just doesn't have the patience for like younger kids like he's a really amazing dad but um he's been having a hard time with Stella's like little temper tantrums and stuff and they're not easy for me either but I think that I maybe have a little bit more patience for them which isn't saying much this is why I don't have multiple children like for those of you that have like two three four five kids god bless you because I think that I would I would not be here I have to take care of that many kids so anyway all right I'm gonna finish somewhat getting ready here and then I'm gonna go ahead and record that video and I'm totally doing it in my pajamas because so um I actually I have to shower twice a day and each time I have to use a fresh towel and clean clothes and so um, I'm just basically gonna be wearing pajamas for the next little bit and I refuse to get out of them because they're actually pretty comfortable so um yeah so these are my uh, comfy gray leopard pajamas. I'm sure they're going to look ridiculous in the video, but anyway. Look for that video to be up. Well, you'll see it before this one, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so this is kind of exciting. I don't get contacted often to review products because... Um, I don't know I don't have that many subscribers so I'm sure companies could care less what I have to say but this company was nice enough to contact me I had no idea who they were and it was just kind of out of the blue but why is this not focusing I feel like an old lady you know how old ladies like hold things close or they hold them far away. <laughs> I'm the old lady that uh, that can't focus on anything right now no offense to any old ladies out there <laughs> I have bad eyesight too, so I'm one of you. Um, anyway, this is from Eden Allure. Might be able to tell a little bit better on the box. There you go. Eden Allure was the company, and they sent me a beauty bar. And this is uh, an argon oil with lavender um, body bar, I'm guessing. I don't think I would use this on my face. Maybe I would. I don't know. Um, and they also sent me their argon oil to try. And you guys know that I've been obsessed with all things argon oil over the last couple of months. So I'm anxious to try this. Um, this was definitely a really generous size here to try out. This is one fluid ounce. So um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this company, get all the information together, use these for a while. It might, the review might have to wait just a couple of weeks just because um, I'm going to be going in for surgery. So might not be the most ideal time to start trying a new product. So I may have to hang out with this for a little while because I want to make sure that I give you guys good information on it but anyway I just thought that was really nice of them I mean I told them like whenever companies do contact me I'm always like you know if I don't like it um, I'll definitely send the product back and not say anything if you want or I'll be honest and um, one company <laughs> said um, yeah please just don't do the review at all if you don't like it um, and then I just never told you guys about that product, so <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, this one I, I'm anxious to try. It should be interesting. By the way, Uncle Dom is fired. He broke her little antenna thing, 
so I need to glue this back on here. She's so cute when she wears it because she just like bobbles around. <laughs> it's adorable. Anyway, I need to find some super glue. So, yeah, that's fun. All right. So the peanut just woke up from a nice nap. It is, what is it, 3.45? So she took a really nice long nap for me. Obviously another hour would have been fantastic, but I will take what I can get. And it is starting to get really dark and kind of ominous outside. So, darn it, why is that not turning on? And by the way, I was like walking around and I was like, why is it so cold in here? Craig had turned down the heat to like 66 and it was so cold. <laughs> so I turned it back up to 68. I think he turns it down at night because like we've been so like dehydrated when we've woken up. Like he's just decided to turn it down and thought that would help. But then he forgets to turn it up and then I forget to turn it up until I'm like freezing. But anyway, so there is an odd bit of sunshine coming from over here. But the rest of the sky looks pretty, like, like it could snow, like it wants to snow. I just don't know that it's going to. I bet you, like, a million bucks it's going to snow on Wednesday morning while we're on our way to the hospital. If it does, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> um, Kong discovered that the heat just came on, so he is sucking it up as well. I think we were both kind of freezing. Still wearing my pajamas and my Ugg slippers. And um, I uploaded my um, winter survival skin videos. So that is up right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. And I'm going to get a load of laundry started while Stella has her baba. My mom on like really cold days used to give us um, warm milk with honey and I really liked that when I was a kid so I just put like a teaspoon of honey into Stella's um, warm baba and she seems to really enjoy it. She is um, well almost two years old now so it's safe for her to eat honey but you're actually not supposed to give honey to like infants so but we're all good with that right huh? Mm -hmm. She's watching Ellen while she's Having her baba. Oh. All right, guys. So, um, Stella and I are going to sign off for today. I just did a little bit of spot mopping, and Stella was nice enough to help out with that. Yeah. I love you. I love you. She's so cute. She loves to help me clean. She's just such a cute little monkey. Um, anyway, so we are quickly losing daylight here. And um, since I have an aversion to all things overhead lighting, <laughs> I might as well just... Um, oh, and I'm going to look terrible no matter what. Um, I might as well just sign off now. So thank you guys for joining us today. Um, I think I will probably do my last kind of normal follow me around video tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I have to go have, uh, well, I don't have to. Like I get to go have lunch with my business partner and um, a photographer. And um, so I get out of the house for a little bit. And then tomorrow in the evening, I hope to take Stella to the mall to go get her Santa pictures because I still haven't done that. And I really need to do it. So I hope to be able to take you guys with us to go do that. Right, Stella? We're going to go see Santa tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks a lot, you guys, for joining us. And thank you so much for actually watching our videos. Like, I've been getting the most views out of, like, all of my videos that I typically do on our Follow Us Around videos. So that's really awesome, you guys. I'm so glad that you are enjoying these and that you are commenting. And I'm sorry that I haven't commented back on the vast majority of the comments on the Follow Us Around videos. It's really hard to, um, to do that on those videos because you guys do leave a lot of comments there. But know that I read every single one and that I'm so appreciative of your awesome 
um, compliments of Stella and that you just enjoy watching us. It's really, it's great. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, and I see you tomorrow. See you. See you. See you later, alligators. <laughs> see you, gators. <laughs> Sophie says goodbye, too. Bye-bye, Stella Bean. <laughs> see you guys Cheek. tomorrow. Cheek. Cheek. She's too cute.